Welcome back, America. John Spencer is one of a handful of people when they talk about war and they talk about what's going on between Israel and the terrorists, actually know what the hell they're talking about. He's chair of urban warfare studies at the Modern War Institute of West Point. He's co-director of the Urban Warfare Project, host of the Urban Warfare Project podcast. And what's going on in Gaza, sir, is urban warfare. The Israelis are under attack by the Biden administration. They're under attack by the European Union. They're under attack by the United Nations. They're under attack by the world media, including the New York Times, CNN, the American media. Is Israel really conducting a war against citizens? Absolutely not. There could be nothing further from the truth. It's, it seems to be the great lie that the world has fallen into disinformation, either for you know, intentional reasons or ignorance. By every measure, the Israeli Defense Forces are facing what no military has faced in modern history, if not going back to any history, especially the United States military, who've only faced even a, a small portion of this type of a challenge of an enemy combatant embedded underneath urban areas on purpose, a massive military. If anybody thinks it would go differently if it wasn't the idea, they're actually, they're actually right. It would be much more destructive. I haven't written that yet, but what do you think the United States would do if somebody invaded, and that's what October 7th was, raped, murdered, burned children, took hostages back into enemy territory, and then started raining down rockets on our cities, I can guarantee you the U.S. military would respond with overwhelming force. And that's the problem is that people believe there's a different way. And I've actually been on the ground in Gaza, deep in Gaza, with the idea, because not only have I been studying this type of combat, urban warfare, but I've also been studying the IDF, how they're organized, how they fight, and gone into Gaza, unlike most of the people who have an opinion, and that's what it is, an opinion about the war haven't been. And I'm saying that the IDF are conducting the most just war, justly, of any military in history, given the context of the challenge of urban combat, in the way they approach the battle, and how they have done everything that has ever done in the history of war to limit civilian casualties, because there is no such thing as a bloodless war. But the IDF have done everything that everybody's ever thought about and then created new ones that nobody's done. They waited for weeks, three weeks, before they entered the cities until they conducted the ground invasion, while their citizens, to include American citizens, are literally being raped by their captors, the terrorist captors, inside the cities. They waited, they evacuated 85 to 90 percent of the civilians and then went after Hamas, who was hiding underneath hospitals, underneath schools, underneath U.N. facilities. And then the world said, well, it's still not good enough. You're, you're still causing too much harm. Like, and then so they changed their tactics. And every time, whatever the world sees, they think they know what they're seeing. And most people are ignorant to war or they've fallen into Hamas's trap, literally. Hamas's strategy is what is happening now for the entire world to turn against Israel, to the entire world to think that it could be done in a different way, and the world, and I mean the world's, expectation that Israel should not go into Gaza and they should let their hostages be raped and tortured and, and killed, and rockets can continue to rain down. Um, this is the major problem is that most of the militaries, most of the governments of the world, besides a few, haven't faced an existential threat in a long, long time. And unfortunately, Israel has had to face it very repeatedly. And they've often had to stand alone. And they'll do it if they have to, because everybody has the right of self-defense. And that's what I'm seeing on the ground. You have this case a few days back where the Israelis accidentally hit this caravan of, uh, of food relief people. I went through in the opening some of the instances where the United States military did the same thing. And I don't blame them. Um, they're not aiming for them. I mean, we're a righteous country. The Israelis are a righteous people. That's a righteous country. And then yet this administration exploits it, attacks them, blames them for the lack of food coming into Gaza, blames them for civilian casualties. Last week, they continued to use Hamas numbers, despite the fact the greatest statisticians in the world have said, no, that's not accurate. 
What do you make of the propaganda from the Biden administration and Blinken and, frankly, our media? Isn't that basically giving aid and comfort to the enemy to continue to do what they're doing? Absolutely. It, it, it is causing the suffering. Literally, our position, the, especially mass media, position on the war is causing the suffering because the Hamas strategy is relying on hope, hope that these messages will continue to be a daily feed in everybody's minds and that the, the basically the dangerously dumb will believe everything they hear versus actually what is going on. And then Hamas continues to hold on to hope that they will survive. That's all they have to do is survive the war and they achieve victory and become the great champions of the terrorist world who attacked Israel and the United States, since they call Israel the little Satan, they call America the great Satan. But 100% it's giving Hamas hope. And the truth of the matter is that not only is there no evidence of a single war crime or a single intent, and that's what really matters in this sham of a ICJ genocide case, to use the word created just to try to explain the horrors that happened in the Holocaust, the sham of that is to show that there is intent. And just like that tragic event with the World Kitchen is that there is no intent to target civilians and there is no evidence that Israel has targeted a single civilian. War is hell. War is uncertain. There's a fog and a friction and mistakes have happened. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.